so uh, hello friends uh, in this video we will see uh, how we can retrieve uh, OC data in our web application web application can be any angular uh, simple HTML web app so uh, we will check a common uh, functionality how we can uh, retrieve the JSON data of this particular Google set so uh, we need three things basically this uh, google sheet should be uh, public means anyone which have this link with this link can able to access this excel file this sheet so and second one is we need this app id this is seat, seat id sorry seat id so this is the seat id let's copy this and 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 we also need the seat name so seat name is here data now let's go to the code so uh, seat id let's paste here already copied so this is the seat id and seat name is data and third one is api key api key can be calculated can we get from this url a uh, cloud console cloud dot google dot com uh, when you log in you have the uh, a credential tab there after login in this url and you can easily able to uh, generate your api key and then that generated api key you can mention here and now let's uh, check a method here is the get data now this is the url to get url to get the json data of that particular google set so you can see this is the url and we have to append some uh, values uh, which defined above that is seat id seat name and the api key so this is the url and we must have to uh, put uh, put the seat id seat name and the google cloud console api key and now we use a fetch method and fetch method we inside fetch we pass the url uh, it return the promise and pr when the promise result uh, we have a method json and it also uh, return a promise and after uh, when this promise result uh, we have a property values so this is the uh, property final final data which we need and this is assigned into uh, a global property seed data of this application and we finally uh, check the data here by console and also we for the html uh, we just bind the seed data like using ng4 you can see here uh, ng, we use the ng4 dire directive uh, to bind the seeds data and on click we call the uh, get data function on this button click so now let's check on the browser so friends uh, we are on the page uh, the output of that page and let's click on get google seed data button so you can see uh, we have the value on the console so this is the json we need of that particular seat id and this is the binder table so this is this data will be retrieved in json format uh, on this uh, page by some uh, api calling so hope you like this if you like this please subscribe the channel like the video and don't forget to uh, generate the api key so api key is must from that particular url which i mentioned on the as a commented line so thanks for the time we'll back soon with some